Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue to the fairy tale town of Colmar, France. Colmar is a small town in the Alsace region of France. If you are a canal side series lover, places like Annecy, Bruges, Amsterdam, and Venice, definitely Colmar is the perfect place for you. Colmar was apparently the inspiration for the village in the Disney film Beauty and the Beast, and it's not hard to see why. Have you ever experienced the sensation of walking into a fairy tale? If this has never happened to you and you want to immerse yourself in an atmosphere that evokes the most beautiful childhood tales, you must visit Kalmar. Located in eastern France in the Alsace region where it represents the capital of the Upper Rhine. Colmar owes its name to the Latin term columbarium. Its origins date back to the Holy Roman Empire, and over the centuries, it was disputed several times by France and nearby Germany, until the end of the First World War, when it definitely became part of French Alsace. This historical events explain the double soul of this city, which is still considered half French and half German, as evidenced by the double language of the signs and the variety of the gastronomic tradition. Today, Kalmar is one of the most enchanting cities in Europe. Above all, thanks to its typically medieval urban aspect that has remained intact, characterized by a succession of colored half-timbered houses in stone or wood, cobbled streets, gothic churches, and small bridges that cross the courses of water that cross the historic center. The Collegiate Church of St. Martin in Colmar, or the Collegial Saint Martin, is the most important place of worship in the city of Colmar. The aspect that most intrigues is its color, a brick red due to the Vosges sandstone. Grèce Rouge de Vosges is a material widespread in French Gothic architecture and which also characterizes the Strasbourg Cathedral. The church was damaged by a fire in 1572 and then rebuilt again. Since 1840, the Cathedral of St. Martin has been recognized as a historical monument of France. Despite the devastation suffered during the French Revolution, which makes the environment somewhat bare, its high Gothic walls contain some works of great value, such as a wooden crucifix dating back to the 14th century and the 18th century grand organ made by the master from Strasbourg, Jean-André Silberman. Another highlight to visit is the Maison de Tête and the Maison Fister. La Maison de Tête takes its name from the incredible amount of stone heads that emerge from its facade, both human 
and animals. In English, it's the house of the heads. Now, it's a five-star elegant hotel. While Maison Fister is the symbol of the city of Colmar, is a typical Alsatian building with a stone and wood structure. The name derives from the family who lived there between 1841 and 1892. The facades are decorated with important frescoes painted by Christian Warksterfer, representing faith and justice, Germanic emperors of the 16th century, the four evangelists, doctors of the church, and biblical sins. Hi, Kobe. Hi, Be. Hi, Chantil. Say hi to Nina. Hi, everyone. You say. Hi, everyone. Oh, merci. Tu parfois, eh? Oui, oui, ka na lang unang oui, oui. Merci, merci, ka mo. Si Mami Mercy, chaka. Another place to visit is the Enchant Duan, which is the old costume house of Kalmar. It is a very characteristic construction built in 1480, when it played a fundamental role in the economic life of the city. It was here that goods were stored and taxed before being imported or exported. Today, the old custom house is located between Grand Rue and the Place de l'Ancien Douan, hosts the artisan's market and marks one of the entrances to Petit Venise, or Little Venice, the beating heart of Calmer. The old custom house is recognized by the inhabitants of the city as a symbol of Calmer. Not everyone knows that the small town of Kalmar has an illustrious citizen. This is Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, the French sculptor who designed the Statue of Liberty in New York. Bartholdi was born in Kalmar in 1834, and his birthplace in the Rue des Marchands has now become a museum that can be visited to learn more about this important artist through his works. In this museum, you can admire the scale reproduction of some monuments created by the sculpture for this city, but above all, the original scale of models of his famous works, namely the colossal statue of the Lion of Belfort and the famous Statue of Liberty, later built by Gustave Eiffel. If you are a true fan of the Statue of Liberty or just simply curious, know that at the north entrance of the city of Kalmar, on the route to Strasbourg, you can admire a very faithful reproduction of Lady Liberty, 12 meters high, made 
in 2004 on the occasion of the centenary of Bartoldi's death. Symbolically, it indicates the bond that unites Calmer and New York through one of the most famous works in the world, a symbolic monument of the Big Apple and the United States of America. The most evocative area of Kalmar is undoubtedly the Petit Venice, or Little Venice, so called because the city is crossed by the Loche River and a series of picturesque bridges and canals that recall the most fascinating Venetian views. The best way to enjoy Little Venice is to take a romantic mini cruise aboard a bateau, a typical boat of the city that will make you discover unusual points of view, passing a few meters from the entrance door of the colorful half-timbered houses of which you will be able to notice some details up close. Palmer's cuisine is affected by both influences from French and German flavors. Throughout the city, you can find the taverns with a very welcoming atmosphere, when you can savor Alsatian dishes and delicacies accompanied by a glass of wine or a mug of beer. As in all areas of Central and Northern Europe, in Kalmar you will find various meat dishes on the menus of the restaurants, cooked in different ways. <laughs> Mercy, no, masarap. Yung batang may S, may sumpong. <laughs> Oo nga, diba? Pero may wine daw yun eh. You like it, the spet spetzel? Let's try the wine. Do not forget that Kalmar is the capital of Alsatian wine, and that a few steps from the city center, there are splendid vineyards, where some famous wine is produced, such as the Pinot Grigio, white and red all to be enjoyed in the city's taverns. Little Venice crosses the most characteristic streets of the center of Kalmar, whose name evoked the guilds that lived there or the place where they had their business, such as 
Quai des Poissonneries, the Fisherman's Avenue, Rue des Tanneurs, or the Streets of Tanners, and Rue des Vignerons, the Road of Winemakers. A walk through the streets of Little Venice is an enchanting experience. Let yourself be carried away by the colors of the houses, browse through the typical craft shops, let yourself be attracted by the scent of sweets and freshly baked bread from patisserie and boulangerie. Walk on the small bridges that cross the river and canals to enjoy the most spectacular views of the city. Although Kalmar is a very fascinating city at any time of the year, it is at Christmas that this picturesque Alsatian town releases all its magic, enchanting its visitors with sets and choreography of music, sounds and colors that enhance the fairy tale aspect of its medieval monuments. During the Christmas holidays, the streets, squares, bridges, and canals of the historic center of Colmar are decorated and illuminated with special chromatic games, while the half-timbered houses take on an even more fairy tale aspect, thanks to the spectacular decoration that recalled the most authentic tradition of Christmas. Kalmar, during the Advent period, from the end of November to the end of December, you will have the feeling of being in a real Christmas village, among choirs and musicians ready to sing the most famous melodies of the holidays. Skating rinks on the ice, Santal's mailbox, and the scent of cinnamon sweets. La Petite Venise, on the other hand, becomes the Christmas village for children, among colorful and cheerful houses that displays wooden toys, sweets of all kinds, gingerbread, soft toys, rides with horses, and a large box where letter for Santa Claus can be inserted. <laughs> Show it, Mars. Chocolat Museum. <laughs> Yung anak ko na gusto nang pumilik sa hotel. Ayan, guys. Ma ti io ti voglio Oggi, tanto bene. Eh sì, si, io ti voglio tanto eh. bene. Un po' sano. Tantissimo, mamma mia, oh, sono diventato famoso. Okay. Tu sei la bella di eh. mamma. Ma tarana. Taposna. You can't hear. So, guys, dito nagtatapos ang ating um 
tour dito sa Calmar, France. Ayan. And syempre, uh, gusto ko pong i-shout out si Peter Ren Villanueva, ang aking uh, number one fan ng aking YouTube channel. Ayan, Peter Ren. Mega, mega shout out sa'yo. And yun. So, I hope you did like it. Ayan. From the Notre Dame of Calmar, France. So, once again, I hope you did like it. You did like the video and you did like the tour here in Colmar, France. I really recommend this place, guys. Kasi maso surprise kayo how amazing is it and how people are so lovely. Ayon. And it try na rin yung food nila and yung wine nila, syempre, um, masarap ang wine ng Alsace. So, ng region ng Alsace. So, yeah. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, from Lady Rose 12, au revoir, Colma. Until next time and next video, bye! Definitely, there are many reasons to visit Colmar. And of course, I can't wait for the day I return to explore more. Thank you for joining me on this French adventure. Until the next videos, au revoir.